Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, today we will discuss about a topic where if there is a um, requirement to add new columns to a data frame by comparing another data frame. For example, let's say you have a data frame like this which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 columns in data frame 1 but whereas you have only 3 columns in data frame 2. So, you have to make data frame 2 equal to the data frame 1 okay? and in that case we need to have the same column names as data frame 1. Let's say there is a requirement for you. So, usually what we will do? We will do with the column because we have to add new columns to the data frame 2 to make in line with data frame 1. Okay. So, in such case what we usually do is we will add with the column till humidity it is there right. So, wind speed with column wind speed with some null uh, for example as we, uh, we do not know the data to be updated we will update with null as of now let us say. So, you will do with the column of wind speed with the null, with the column of pressure with null and with column of summary with null. Okay. So, now let us check this example. So, in the uh, like Databricks notebook I have read this data frame friends the same that we just saw in the PPT right. So, with that I have created a file and I have read that uh, as a data frame df1. Okay, now you can see one data frame is created with six columns. So, I have printed the schema as well of that um, data frame. Now, you can see six columns are there and similarly, I have run the other three column data frame which says edited, right? So, I have removed the three columns and I have created the df2. So, here you can see df2 is created with three columns and let us print the data like uh, the schema of both if you can see here df1 schema has six columns df2 schema has three columns. So, for unifying these both I am creating a data frame 3. So, in the data frame 3 what I am doing the is from df2 which has this three columns right I am adding with column wind speed and I, I am populating that with null column. Similarly, for pressure, I have written another with column. I mean, you can see three with columns here because now I need to add three columns so that it will be in line with this one. So, the resultant, the data if you see here, it has six columns now with date time, the temperature, humidity, these three columns are from data frame 2. So, that is why we it is having some data and these three columns we have added with column right. So, because of that it is having null because now we are populating that with null data. Now, correct our requirement is satisfied, but let us say there is one more column added in future in the first data frame. Then in that case again you have to modify your code for adding another with column statement here correct and let us say here only three columns are there I mean this is very simple data frame which has only six columns. So and here three because just the three are remaining you keep adding that three columns I accept. Let us say there are 100 columns in that only 50 columns are there or 49 columns are there you have to add the remaining 51 columns to the data frame 2. In that case, is it possible to write so many with column statements for each and every column? It is not possible, right? And also, let us say the data frame 1 column names keep changing, keep they, they keep adding. Then in such case, what you will do? It is not possible to write with columns every time there is a new column is added, correct? So, in that case, what we have to do? I am creating a result data frame here. Now, here what I am doing is from the data frame 2 which is the 3 column data frame or which is the lesser column data frame. From there, I am saying that select 
all the columns and I am giving one if condition. First we need to check what all columns already present correct. So I am saying that if that schema name for, see here actually because this is PySpark first uh, for, 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 for uh, loop has come at the end okay this is like for each column in the data frame one means for these six columns it will check for each column if this column is in data frame two then you take it you take the data frame two column if that is not present if the column is not present in data frame two for which column the data frame one column is not present then you populate that with the none column uh, like a null value and we are giving the aliases column so that this call means this is the column which means it will take the column names from the schema name I mean df and data frame one automatically because of that you can see there will not be any with column statements at all hard coded and you can see that in the resultant um, what is the data frame this three columns are already added without even using the with column we are able to populate the column with null values here instead of none if you wanted to populate any same data in all these things like yet to be decided or something you can do that here so friends I, I will explain it again okay df2 is the data frame 2 which we are having only three columns okay so from there I am saying that select so inside the select I am writing the code saying that for each column in data frame 1 means we have six columns here in the data frame 1 so for each column if the column is present in df2 which means in that three columns are there right they are present so take the df2 column if the column name is column is already present you take the column from data frame 2 itself if any column is not there in data frame 2 means the remaining three column you populate that with, with null and give the column name as column name column name is coming from the data frame 1 this is how we can very simply this is a very simplification of this entire hundreds of with column statements and we will be able to add lot of columns with a single statement now in future let's say we are having one new column with one so to the data frame one I am adding one more column called the test so you don't have to see I'm querying again and now you can see even the test has been taken with null values here so we have not modified any code this is data frame one means for example if there is a change in the file input file itself so there is no need to change anything in the code you don't have to touch because this condition will be able to read whatever columns present in data frame one and it will be able to unify with the un, I mean it will be able to make inline with the df2 data frame and it will give you the resultant data frame okay so hope this is useful to you friends Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.